Hey up everyone, Picky Plays here and welcome back to my channel. Um, as you heard, I said A up. Um, I'm a Yorkshire lass and I got dared to say A up, which I don't see what the big deal is because I just normally say hello, welcome, and I'm like, oh, it's just, yeah, I was just dared to say A up. So A up all and welcome to this Let's Play of the Three Roofs Cafe in Castleton in the Peak District, UK. Um, this is quite a unique build um, in the fact that it has three roofs. Um, you'll see what I mean as we progress throughout the build. Um, this is actually a cafe that I find myself going to quite a lot when I go to Castleton because, like, Castleton's my like favourite place to actually go, like walking and that. So I do a lot of walking. Even though when I go into this cafe, I probably do more eating than I actually do walking. Oops. Um, but. Oh, well, it's a nice little cafe, a little, you know, old-fashioned cafe. I think it's like 17th century or something like that. I know that it is pretty old um, and it is such a cute little small cafe. Um, it's kind of like inspired from the Thru's Cafe. Cause I can't, well, I can't exactly call it, I can call it Thru's Cafe, but it's inspired because certain parts are actually, I'm actually unsure about. So, like, there's this little house attached to it and I just decided to put like a two bedroom like cottage thing there I don't know holiday thing or something I don't know um there's a lot of holiday cottages in Castleton a lot of people go and walk in holiday so I think I'll stick with that um first things first you'll see I actually make a mistake um I forget to put the second floor of the roof on on the last thing thing in a bob thing so yeah um a little mistake there but i'll sort it out i'll get it get it done on that and at the back there's like a flat roof as well which like i think it like holds the toilet i've never actually used the toilets in there i've always like gone to like the visitor center so i had to like make up that as well but we all know the sims like to do their socializing in the toilet for some strange reason anyway so it doesn't matter too much i think i put like four toilet in there. i end up playing with like four toilets in there so i'm sure the sims will have a good time socializing in there i don't know why the sims socialize in toilets because we don't normally do that unless you go night clubbing then maybe you might socialize in the toilets but otherwise i don't think you would would you really but yeah um yeah, I'm just like trying to get like everything right and that and this coffee thing. I didn't even know we had this coffee thing. It like, it came in like get together and I didn't even realise that we could actually have coffees. So yeah, that is my bad. Sorry. Um, but yeah, um, I'm trying to find the counters that actually matched that counter. And I managed to find it. And this space at the back, I wasn't too sure what to do. So I just thought I'd make like a nice big, you know, um, chef's kitchen. Is that what you call it? Yeah, chef's kitchen, you know, like a nice kitchen so that they can like make the food and that. Even though I don't have the dine out game pack. But yeah, um, I thought I'd do that. I thought it'd look nice. And when I actually build the cottage, I thought, oh yeah, it'll look nice and the people in the cottage can use that as well so win-win really if I actually use it as a cottage or a little holiday thing uh, I haven't quite decided yet but yeah um I tried to like the windows were like quite difficult to find not, not that it's difficult to find it's like the colour I couldn't get the colour to match the door and still I'm not happy that the colour actually matches the door or anything like that but I have been trying to make it kind of match. Um, I tried to put like some little pretty flowers out the side because like, yeah, the one in Castleton has some nice little pretty flower baskets and flower pots outside it. You know, looks very um, countryside-y. Is that the word? I don't know. Or thing in a bob thing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I go here quite a lot um i was up here well up here yeah yeah up here recently in castleton going on a um walking holiday well it's not a walking holiday i stayed overnight at the castle hotel i think it's called and um 
I went up to um, Mamtor and there was like this little broken road. Um, it was a road that closed, I think, in the 1970s. Um, it was open for years, but it just kept having landslides because of like where it is and stuff. And I don't know, but it just ended up closing. And I went and walked down there, and it's a little bit muddy at the top. And yeah, I kind of got my shoes like really muddy. I thought I was actually going to like sink into this like sludgy water moss the stuff at the top of this like broken road it was like <laughs> really bad but yeah I managed to come out still here so but it was it was good it was a good adventure it was nice to get away from my computer for a bit actually and nice just to like get out because I don't really go out much because of my mental health so it's nice to actually go out, have some fresh air and go walking around and I love the view from the top of Mamto it's just like amazing and i'd recommend anyone to go there the hike up there is a killer not gonna lie that actually probably slowly kills me off but after you get to the top and after you've recovered and drank lots of water the view is breathtaking um i would absolutely highly recommend going to castleton for a walk for the day or for a few nights you know you won't be disappointed but i would advise probably going in the summertime not the winter time and we have lots of caverns as well i went to i took my little on speedwell cavern which is like a cave and it's like it's like underground and it's like like an underground water canal boat thing you actually go in a boat underground in these caves it's actually really amazing i'm like not even lying i thought like i'd be really like claustrophobic because i can get really panicky like really easily and i actually found it all right, I dealt with it quite okay and my little one absolutely loved it. We also went to the um, Peak Cavern in the actual centre of um, Castleton itself, more commonly known as the Devil's Arse. If you want to know why it's called the Devil's Arse, I suggest you Google it or you go there yourself. But yeah, I took my little boy there and he was more interested in the rope making than the actual cave itself. Um, it's a pretty big cavern. It's meant to meant to have been at one point the biggest cavern entrance in the UK. Um, but I don't think it is anymore. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, that was a good experience as well. Not as good as Speedwell. Speedwell was <laughs> amazing. It's like one of the most probably uniquest experience I've actually ever been on. Um, but yeah, um, and the Peak Cavern isn't far... <laughs> from Three Roofs Cafe which I should really get back to um but yeah I was trying to get like the old style furniture and stuff for it um I think I was using a bit from the um get together expansion pack um and then you've got like the little um seats that I actually put outside because I actually have like seating areas outside in the summer so I thought I'll put a few little tables around and I've kind of like gone for a green theme because it's actually green on the outside so I kind of tried to continue that green theme, even like the wallpaper and stuff like that, and the doors. So yeah, I'm trying to keep in like thinking with that green theme. Where the bin is, um, there's like um, I can't remember what it is. Um, it's like it looks like some shed or some storage unit thing. So I was like, I want to show what to do. So I thought, oh, I'll just like put a bin there and just you know fence it off and you know make it look pretty kind of thing. Um, but yeah these are like the toilets I made them like really huge because like, I really do not know and kind of like I kind of mm, I don't know I'm just like just really didn't know what to do with the space so I was just like oh, I'll just put four toilets in there it'll be fine you know as I said sims love socializing in the toilets for some reason for some reason celebrities go in the toilets and all of a sudden all the sims follow the celebrity and the paparazzi end up taking pictures in the toilet of this celebrity sim. For God knows why, I really couldn't tell you. So yeah, um, we have four big toilets in this cafe. Don't think they'll ever use them apart from socialising. Um, but yeah, I tried to make this like cafe, the cafe, the not the cafe bit, but the kitchen's actually probably bigger than the actual cafe bit itself, but it's got quite a few like, outdoor spaces anyway you know like a few like city things and you know kind of thing and 
I was just trying to, um, what was I, did I have, I had difficulty in doing something, I can't remember what it was, um, it wasn't the chairs, it wasn't the dining room tables, I think it was the lights, I swear it was the lights, because I, you know, like, the lights are quite old fashioned, and I wanted to try and keep that theme kind of thing, so, I found it, like, a bit difficult to find, like, some nice old fashioned lights to actually go with the actual thing, so I just, like, kind of got some, like, basic lights kind of thing um it seems seems to have worked okay seems to be okay so at least that's sorted um in the end um before i actually ended well after i ended this video um i actually ended up putting like a little playground at the side of it um just because you know just for sims purposes i decided to put like a little playground at the actual side of this actual speed build and when i upload it to origin it will have this playground at the side of it so please be aware of that but i needed to add something for the kids really because there's a lot of seating space around there um and around the area of is it willow creek but there's like no play area so i thought oh, i'll put it in the cafe it'll be all right you know just at the side and that no one will really notice and gives the sims kids something to do i suppose so yeah i decided to do um that but yeah i was just trying to like looking at little bits and bobs that i could actually like put in um i think i put like the like tomato ketchup things on the um table but the little sauces near that cooker i was gonna put them on the table and then i was like change my mind i was like nah put the like ketchup things on the table i can't really put them on the small ones because they're like way too small so yeah um decided to use like the terrain paint to paint the um front of the thing i was actually going to use tiles originally and then i thought that exterior paint actually looks better suited than the actual tiles that the actual things got so yeah i decided to go with that um i didn't end up actually decorating it that much just because i couldn't find like the right pictures and that wallpaper already looks quite decorative enough as it is, so I didn't really want to, you know, spoil it too much on that. So I just put, like, a few little bits, not many bits at all. I wanted to try and make it look really, like, flowery more than anything else, so, yeah. I tried to, like, go with, you know, put some flowery things in and that. Um, I think one thing, what did I forget to put in? So I end up putting like pa yeah paper dispensers yeah. So I was actually looking for the paper dispensers when I was actually doing the bathrooms and I couldn't find them and they was actually right under my nose the entire time. I just was like looking at them as if there was like something different and it turns out they wasn't. It was just me. So yeah, typical me not realizing. Um, this is like the part where I'm doing like the cottage thing knee bob thingy knee thing bob um but yeah um i thought i'd do a two bedroom cottage and i made it like a jack and jill bathroom upstairs so like everyone can like use it kind of thing so i thought it made more sense because it's quite you know quite a small space and i actually don't know what this space is in the actual three rooms cafe um it could just be storage but i could be wrong because uh, I don't have a clue what it could be basically so it's a little cottage anyway for this little speed build and I've made it so that they can gain access to the actual cafe so they can actually use that kitchen um sims wise it'll probably like because obviously you can't have like hotels and that in the sims games anyway so probably just like if you want your sims to stay they can stay can't the kind of thing so like, when I'll get do the get to work expansion pack yeah oh, what did i do there oh yeah that's when i like exited by mistake um what was i saying um yeah the get to work expansion pack um i don't know if you find yourself but when i like play the get to work one and i like do like a retail lot i'll like make like a little like apartment on top of like the shop just so that they can stay there kind of thing so you don't have to keep going back to your home lot then back to your retail lot, then back to your home lot again, because it kind of gets a little bit boring, and, you know, not everyone likes loading screams. I don't like loading screams. I hate loading screams, but hey-ho, we have to deal with it. So, yeah, um... 
you don't see in this video but I actually pick um, three traits for this lot um, just because I forgot to do it in the actual video um, I picked um, peace and quiet which is meant to like I think they're meant to like gain skills faster from reading and that and like the tense moods and that are meant to go away a lot faster because the environment and that um, sunny aspect is the second trait I put on which is meant to like really like uplift your sims that can end up being inspired and that lot and energized um and chef's kitchen with it being a cafe i thought that one's kind of pretty self-explanatory kind of thing so um yeah they're the three um traits i decided to choose for this speed build this cafe um I have actually play tested a little bit, which is why I know that the Sims like like congregating in the um, toilets, um, and the fact they seem to like take out coffees, even though they're sat in the cafe. Don't know why, but they just seem to like, you know, going for that take out coffee is supposed to actually get in a proper coffee, but you know this is Sims. Sims do some weird stuff, kind of thing, but at least. It works, it's all play tested, so and it's actually quite a nice little cafe in the game. It works really well and we've had the kids the Sims kids playing on the play area as well. No one's actually sat outside though. So I like, built the area and like no one's actually sat outside. Everyone's like just like crammed inside. And they tend to be like taking a book from the um cottage thing that I built on the side and taking it to sit down in the cafe and read. So yeah, you've got a lot of reading sims and a lot of sims sitting in there with take-out coffee glasses. Oh, gla take-out coffee glasses, take-out coffee cup things. So yeah, um, I don't know what else there is to really say about this build. I had, I had fun building it, it was really nice. I had a little bit of a glitchy roof as you can see there. Um, in the end I just decided, I didn't see it in this, but in the, side, in the end I just decided to just brick it on that side. Because you know, it's meant to be quite an old style building, it's quite nice and fashionable to have like you know, the bare brick wall, so I just decided to do that instead, because I do not know why it was glitching like that, and it was, like, really annoying me, so, yeah, um, you know, if you liked this video, please give it a like, and comment, and, you know, if you like what you see, please, like, subscribe, I would, like, really highly appreciate it, and towards the end of this video, I will put some of some little pictures at the end of the interior shots of the cafe but as I said you know you should really go there I'm like not even joking it is really nice there so yeah I cannot recommend it enough so if you have time especially if you live in England you've got no excuse go to Castleton go to this little cafe go for a nice walk around you know especially for like being outdoor like I do sometimes um you'll enjoy it so yeah highly recommend it and thank you so much for watching guys I like really appreciate your support and and really grateful and thanks and bye bye for now until next time